Good afternoon, everybody. My name is uh, Lieutenant Colonel Danny Weeks, and I'm the presiding officer today for uh, retirement celebration of uh, Mr. Dan Becker. <laughs> uh, before we get started, I'd like to invite up uh, Chaplain Tom West for an invocation. If you'd like, please pray with me. Almighty God, it is with grateful hearts that we pause this day to thank you for the many years of faithful service that Mr. Dan Becker has given to the United States Air Force. We thank you for the contributions he has made and for his loyalty and for his willingness to share this experience with all of us. We're grateful for the influence and the support of his family, for Simone, and also his friends and mentors. And we ask a special blessing on them today as they share an appreciation for Mr. Becker and his extensive service to our, to our great nation. We celebrate today a legacy of excellence, selfless service, and integrity. Dan has impacted so many lives over his career, both professionally and personally. The relationships he has made, especially on this island, will be felt for years to come. We ask that you provide him with wisdom and guidance as he begins to enjoy the fruits of his labor. We ask that you'd prepare Dan and Simone for the challenges and the new opportunities that are on the horizon. And we pray that this transition will bring a renewed sense of purpose for Dan, as well as a, as a renewed life in his marriage. We pray that their upcoming travels will be safe and that the time away will help Dan shift his priorities as he embarks on the next adventure in life. May you continue to bless the Beckers with peace, joy, and happiness all the days of their lives. In your holy name, amen. amen. Thank you very much, Chaplain. So welcome, everybody. Thank you very much to our distinguished guests, Simone. Colonel Hardiman, Chief Pease, and Colonel Littleton. And to all the friends, family, um, neighbors, and coworkers of uh, Mr. Dan Becker, thank you very much for taking time to be with us today. So today we're celebrating nearly 40 years of service. Um, something that's hard for someone like me to even comprehend, but um, what an amazing, amazing milestone. Um, and, and along with that, I wanted to thank his family for their incredible service. Um, as, as everybody serves, everybody has to make sacrifices as we move about. Um, as you know, uh, Mr. Becker leads and has led a variety of different organizations, but one of the hallmarks throughout all these different uh, times in his life that I'm gonna talk about is uh, professional knowledge, an expertise that he brings to every job and then the care that he shows for everyone who he serves. Um, and it's absolutely no surprise that um, both in his military and uh, civilian careers, he has worked primarily in the services. Um, it's a place where you, you interact with people and, and, and sometimes people are difficult, but most of the time it's a wonderful thing to take care of uh, folks and take care of people and that's exactly what you're here over uh, the next little bit um, as hallmarks of Dan's service. So, I'm going to kind of skip ahead because um, Dan has had one retirement before, if you don't know. He served 26 years as active duty um, services uh, specialist, uh, retiring as a senior master sergeant. In that time, he had 13 assignments, um, six deployments, and served three years as a first sergeant. So a lot of history there, a lot of build up to what he has been. Um, but today I want to focus in on where we've been over the last um, uh, uh, 12 years. Sorry, 13 years, 13 years. So um, I am gonna hit one key, very important element in their um, history is in 2006, Dan was stationed in Spangdalm, Germany and married Simone. And they um, have two kids, um, Kimberly and Pamela. Um, after Spangdalm, uh, Simone was nice enough to follow Dan to Grand Forks, North Dakota. So for those warriors of the North that have ever, ever been there, uh, you know that uh, Grand Forks is not quite like uh, Germany. It's a very, very different. So thank you, Simone, for sticking beside him through those cold, cold winters. Um, um, Mr. Becker retired in 2009 and went straight into a lodging manager there at Grand Forks where he had 74 rooms. And kind of going back to that professional knowledge, that expertise, and that span of um, professionalism that Dan has, 
Um, 74 rooms just wasn't enough. So he took a job out in Vandenberg, California, or Vandenberg Air Force Base, um, where he's still overseeing lodging, but they had 265 uh, TLF and, and lodging rooms. So the Air Force saw uh, in every interview that Dan has sat in that, that there is incredible growth. There's incredible um, knowledge that Dan brings. And they stayed out in Vandenberg for four years, um, but then an opportunity came up, came up to give back overseas. And again, Dan striving for that caring for more people, caring for the biggest group he could, they headed back to Ramstein, where again, working in lodging, but this time with 1,400 rooms, over 1,400 rooms, um, work in all of the KMCC area. So very large responsibility, opportunity to be back overseas, back in Germany. I'm sure that was a very well uh, loved assignment. And you got to be there for two more years. Um, Dan did return to uh, Vandenberg where he became a flight chief, took a promotion, and was able to uh, touch on and help an even larger population besides just those who are staying in lodging in TLF. Got that opportunity to hit on all the other service areas where airmen um, need that support, need those services, and, more, and nowhere is that more important than overseas. So after Vandenberg the second time as a flight chief, Dan came to uh, Lodges Field in 2018 to take over the force support flight director position. And again, there, we all feel it every day, but services is one of those key ingredients, one of those wonderful things that makes lodges lodges. Um, whether it's our lodging operation, our torque, our gym, um, the outdoor rec, the ITT, all the other services, uh, food operations, all the other things, um, MPS and CPS, as you see, it's very expansive. Everybody is touched in some way by the, um, the folks that Dan has led over um, his time here. And so, uh, earlier this year, Colonel Nost identified that we needed somebody with great knowledge, great experience um, at the squadron level to help us run the uh, amalgamation of all the different career fields. And so Colonel Nost identified Mr. Becker is absolutely the person that needs to be brought up to the deputy, squadron deputy director level. And um, I am so glad that Ben did that before I got here um, because I have been able to reap incredible benefits from his experience, his knowledge, that professional expertise. And, and the care that you show for folks, whether it's in the personnel, or, you know, civilian personnel, military personnel, or on the services side. I have learned more in the last three months about services and taking care of people for Mr. Becker than you know, my 15 year career has allowed. Um, and then to Simone, thank you as well. Um, you've shared him with us a lot of years. Um, he has made our squadron and our base so much better um, I do wish you guys the best of luck in retirement, safe voyages, um, and blue skies. Um, at this time, I'd like to invite anybody who has a parting gift for Mr. Becker to come on up. We have to actually retire you before we can give you any gifts for retirement. I'm so sorry. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and present a retirement certificate. Thanks, Ian. So a uh, certificate to recognize uh, Daniel James Becker for 15 years of faithful and devoted federal civilian service on the occasion of retirement from the United States Air Force, given this 23rd day of September, 2022. <laughs> So now I would like to invite anybody to come um, provide any gifts or parting um, advice to our retiring member um, now that we've given him this retirement certificate. My wife and I gave Daniel a very self-serving gift that uh, I gave him a dozen golf balls because I need another golf partner. And, and so I am ready for Daniel to uh, forget about work and come on to the golf course with me up in uh, El Guava. Congratulations. Thank you. So uh, I know you wanted to have a little bit of history from your time here at Lodges. So we're able to save this uh, parking placard and we redid it as the FSS director. 
So you can mark your parking spot when you get home. Okay. <laughs> retired across it. And then uh, no retirement is complete, especially with all your traveling and cruises without a nice straw hat. Beautiful. To keep the, the sun out of your face so you can keep going. <laughs> So this is for the community and sustainment section. Sir Arturo couldn't be here. All the managers are here. So thank you very much for your hard work and wish you the best and have a good retirement. Sir. All right. Love the hat. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. On behalf of the squadron, um, our new coin, Dan Becker was instrumental in bringing together what at one time was the four flights, um, but now it's the three flights. So present him with our new very large uh, coin. Thank you very much. <laughs> Dear Daniel, finally the day that you've been working for so hard has arrived. Today we are celebrating your 39-year career as an active duty and as a civilian for the U.S. Air Force. And I'm so happy that soon we will spend our time together all day, every day. However, there are a few people around the world that can't be here today to celebrate with us and they were sending us messages, so you will see them soon. But ultimately, there is one person that is responsible for you being here today. She couldn't be here either, but she sent me a letter and I'm reading it on behalf of her now to you. Dear Dan, we can't be with you in person, but our hearts are there. Happy retirement. The years have gone by and now you can do the things you have been dreaming about. As a youngster, you had all kinds of activities that prepared you for adult living and working. Thank you for letting us be a small part of your life, sharing some of your fun. You and your brother Scott have made us proud of the role you have played in this world. People care about you because you care about them. Enjoy your retirement with Simone and children and grandchildren. Love, Mom and Ron. Hey, Dan. It's, it's Scott and Karen from Swine Joy, your brother hey. and sister-in-law. We're here to say happy retirement. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yay. Thank you for your service, Dan. <laughs> it's so good to see, well, not see you, but you can see us. Nope, happy, to see you soon. Happy retirement. Uh, enjoy the free time. Yes. Hopefully we can retire in a couple of years and uh, maybe we can come out and visit you on your little island paradise sometime soon. So enjoy your retirement, enjoy your time with your family, traveling with Simone. Hi, Simone! <laughs> and uh, take care. Love you, Dan. Love you. Bye. Bye. Hey, Dan. Paul and Sarah here in Anchorage, Alaska. Joran's taking a shower. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we were doing yard work and just wanted to take a minute and wish you a very happy retirement. Congratulations, sir. Yeah. Happy retirement. Take care. Take care. Love you guys. How did you nach einer langen Karriere geht es nun für dich in den wohlverdienten Ruhestand. Wie du siehst, bei mir dauert es noch ein bisschen. Ich wünsche dir in deinem nächsten Lebensabschnitt den Unruhestand, nehme ich an. Alles, alles Gute. Mach's gut. Bis bald. Hallo Daniel, schöne Grüße aus Deutschland. Meine Karriere fängt jetzt gerade erst an, deine geht schon zu Ende. Ich wünsche dir einen neuen Lebensabschnitt, viel Gesundheit, viel Erfolg und natürlich eine Menge Spaß. Bleib gesund. Congratulations, Dan, on your retirement. I'm so sorry this video was late, but as you know, time flies by when you're having fun. You still have done one of the most amazing things that I've ever seen in my career. When you took that club run by Sodexo and then in three days turned it over to a Michelin chef and made it uh, the amazing thing that it is today. I can't thank you enough for everything that you've done for me, for the 30th FSS, and for this Air Force over your long career. And I wish you only the best as you uh, walk into this new chapter of life. Congratulations again. 
Hey Dan, what an awesome accomplishment. Congratulations on your retirement. I wish I could be there, um, but I just wanted to let you know how grateful I am to have worked with you. And I hope you get to travel and do all the things you love. And I'm just wishing you the best in your retirement. Cheers. Hi, Mr. Becker. Congratulations on your well-deserved retirement. Enjoy yourself. Be safe. Don't work too hard. Have fun. You're a good boss. Don't care what Steve says. You got shit done. Nobody else gets shit done around here anymore. They suck. <laughs> you should come back. No, do not come back. You, you play dragon nuts. Happy retirement. Yep. Cheers. Mm -hmm. All the best. Hey, Dad. We love you. You're the best. Good times to come. You deserve it. We're so happy for you and we're looking forward to your visit and then we're going to celebrate together. We would love to be there with you, but we will see you soon. Bye. I, uh, yeah, I, I should have spoken first because then I would have been more prepared. Okay, good afternoon, everybody, and uh, thank you all for coming out. Uh, Colonel Hardiman, Colonel Littleton, Chief Pease, thank you very much. Um, Colonel Weeks, the, the words, the fine words, thank you. Uh, it was wonderful. <clears throat> and all of my friends from Portugal, the U.S., from Mexico, Germany, Everywhere else in the world that you all come from, thank you for coming out. I know how much people like speeches, so I'm planning on making this short. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> However, the first I would like to focus on my first year in the Air Force. Um, I signed up for delayed entry in the Air Force in November 1982, so almost 39 years ago, or more than 39 years ago, and I had no clue what I wanted to do with my life, but I knew that I did not want to go to college anymore, because that was dull. I wanted to see the world, and the Air Force promised me a wonderful guaranteed job as a cryptologic linguist specialist. I was just 18 years old. Then in basic training, we were shown a film about the elite pararescue career field, and I thought, wow, that's what I really want to do. So I signed up, passed the test, and proceeded to get punished with daily workouts, including 1,200 push-ups and 600 pull-ups every day. After I nearly passed out, during one such workout in the 100 plus degree temperatures in San Antonio summer, I decided that was not what I wanted to do. <laughs> and I was reassigned as an aerospace food service specialist, or cook for short. <laughs> it was 1983. Arthur L. Andrews was the Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force. General Charles A. Gabriel was the Chief of Staff. Vernor was the Secretary of the Air Force and Caspar Weinberger was the Secretary of Defense. The President of the United States was Ronald Reagan, and the Prime Minister of Portugal was Mario Suarez. The Cold War was in its prime. Some facts about 1983. The U.S. forces in Beirut were bombed by terrorists in April 1983, and the U.S. invaded the Caribbean island of Grenada in October 1983. Mario Brothers released their first uh, arcade game in Japan, and the U.S. deployed cruise missiles to Europe. And I was assigned to a small base in Germany called Buschel, a MUN site. In 1983, the average price of a home was $70,000. Motorola introduced the first ever mobile phone, and Sally Ride became the first American woman in space aboard the Space Shuttle Challenger. Switch, Swatch started selling watches, Cabbage Patch Kids became a collector item, and Billie Jean was the hit of the year for Michael Jackson. The Washington football team won their first Super Bowl in 1983 with wide receiver Art Monk, running back John Riggins, and quarterback Joe Theismann. The Baltimore Orioles won the Baseball's World Series that year and haven't been back since. <laughs> ben Ficka won the Parima Division with Nene as the top scorer. And Hamburger Sportsverein won the European Cup with top scorer Horst Hubrecht 
The first time since 1976 that a team outside of England won the European Cup. A lot has happened since 1983. The Cold War ended, sort of. The Space Shuttle Challenger disaster happened in 1986. We had wars in the Persian Gulf, Bosnia, Kosovo, Afghanistan, and Iraq. We lived through 9-11, the climate crisis, and a seemingly unending pandemic. I became an NCO, and then a senior NCO, and then a first sergeant. I earned my bachelor's degree from the University of Phoenix in 2006, retired from active duty in 2009 as a senior master sergeant. After retirement, I took a whole weekend off and started working as a base lodging manager. <laughs> I spent seven years in the NAF careers program, completed my master's degree in leadership and management in 2013, graduated Air Command and Staff College, and then moved on to the GS career track in starting in 2016. Over the years, I got married, had two beautiful daughters, got divorced, and then I met my gorgeous wife, Simone, in 2004. Now we also have four wonderful grandkids. Remember this, everyone. Your career will end one day. Whether you like it or not, be sure that you have connected with someone you want to spend your life with before you call it quits. Take care of your relationships and nurture them. Imagine being stranded on an island with your wife or kids if you don't get along. <laughs> if you do not take care of your relationship, it will feel like an eternity. I chose to retire early because I believe that the future will be wonderful for us. I'd still love to cook, so when you see Simone and I again in the future, expect us to be a little bit more well-rounded. <laughs> Here at Lodges Field, I have had a terrific four years working with some of the best and brightest professionals I have ever met. We've had a lot of success and too many changes to list, but I would like to talk about some of them. Airmen and Family Readiness Center became the Military and Family Readiness Center, successfully transitioned from a two-person team to just one, and Liz has been great. CPO created a new LFI 36101 after only four years of negotiations. They developed an educational equivalency LFI and converted, that converted college degrees from Portugal to meet the U.S. standards and created a parental leave program that fit within or worked around that much beloved work regulation. Lucia and the Education Office cleared out, out all of T-146 and moved everything that was left into T-100. Please be very, very quiet when testing is happening. <laughs> the Fitness Center conducted microfit exams for the firefighters, and Gus, as the lone fac, conducted about 170 fitness tests per year. Teresa and the laundry team replaced most of their equipment, and uh, they've done a great job of taking care of the base. Marco and the lodging team renovated all of their rooms and housed about 15,000 bed nights per year, not counting the contingency quarters. The MPS implemented my eval, my deck, my WTF. <laughs> However, the professional NCOs of the MPS ensured a smooth transition for over 700 permanent party military through Lodges Field in four years. The resource management section created and managed team OAs that kept the base working. Rose and her team also helped to implement GFACs to continue paying employees, and they expertly managed P-cards, GPCs, GTCs, APFs, including those from IMSC, NAFs, GLACs, GLAFs, and CCs, resulting in positive NIADs for MWR and AFLF, <laughs> and also managed POs and GOVs for FSF. <laughs> Paulo and the marketing team advertised numerous programs, made license plates, kept the base website updated, managed the base TV channel, and maintained all NAF computer systems, ensuring compliance with PCI to ensure your credit card data would not be stolen. The post office team installed AMPS handheld scanners to modernize the sorting distribution and provided notifications for your mail. Arthur and the torque staff moved to the Ocean View, worked there for two years during COVID, and then move back to this beautiful facility. All moves that could not have been as successful if it was not for Arthur and his entire team's effort. Teresa also created the most interesting events, tours, and tournaments that made the people of Lodges Field feel right at home. Of course, I cannot also not, cannot forget Mr. Silva, Captain Lamont, and Master Sergeant Backted, and all of the others who worked as Deputy Flight Commander and Superintendent. They helped make this tour a dynamic and wonderful four years. 
Please join me as I give a round of applause for the really the hardworking team of the four support professionals here at Lodges Field. As Colonel Weeks had indicated, uh, we reorganized in the 765th Air Base Squadron in July of 2020. All of the changes have brought us to where we currently are as a part of a team who ensures the U.S. and Portuguese customers are provided world-class civil engineer contracting and force support service, and also to the thousands of air crews and passengers who transition through Lodges Field every year. Colonel Hardiman, Colonel Littleton, Chief Pease, thank you for all being here today. I would also like to thank Colonel Weeks for hosting and the wonderful words, um, and uh, Major Jenny Walk and Captain Ian Lamont for putting together a terrific ceremony and for to Teresa Cordell for the beautiful reception and to also to the Torque staff for making this possible um, here in the Torque. I want to thank the untiring efforts of the people in the Force Support Flight for providing outstanding customer service each and every day. I want to thank my kids for traveling around the world with me and living through this great adventure. I want to thank all of my friends for uh, including the expat group, of course, for who helped keep me sane throughout COVID and for spending quality time with me and my wife for the last four years. But most of all, I want to thank my, sorry. Okay. I want to thank my wife, Simone. She has been my brain, she's been by my side, my bookkeeper, my accountant, taking care of me throughout every challenge. You are my best friend. Love you. I can't wait to spend the rest of my days giving back to you for all that you've given to me. Okay, I hope that was short enough. I know it's a little bit longer than what most people wanted, but uh, uh, there are refreshments um, in the lower level. Please help yourself with that. There is money on the bar, so have yourself some refreshments, and for the first time, and the very last time, please take 59 minutes. <laughs> Thank you. Please join us for, um, in closing with the Air Force song. Friends. Off we go. Into the wild, into the wild, blue yonder, fighting hard.